9 is also making its way through the legislature and could be the biggest state investment in broadband development to date. News 3's Tyler Hoskins spoke to county officials about their efforts to expand broadband and how this bill could affect their plans. It's an issue Brazos County has discussed for some time but had difficulty solving. The cost to be able to deliver uh, high quality uh, internet uh, you know, broadband out into the more remote parts of the county, it just costs a lot. House Bill 9 invests $5 billion for broadband development in underserved areas and could be the key to bringing high-speed internet to parts of the Brazos Valley. My hope is with this uh, Texas fund that's coming out that there'll be some clarification about how it can be spent and how we may be able to use it to actually uh, increase the broadband service out in the county. Last year, there was discussion about funds from the American Rescue Plan Act covering those costs, but commissioners decided to wait and see if the state would provide funding. What we began to run into with even the ARPA funding and broadband is that you couldn't spend money where uh, the it was already covered by other federal grants. Commissioner Steve Aldrich says for the past three months, the county has reviewed the parts of the Brazos County that struggle with broadband access. Probably less than 25 percent, uh, if I remember correctly, don't have access to stuff at speeds that are up in the 100 gig area. And that's the speed you want to deliver. Now House Bill 9 will head back to the House, then may go to the governor's office for final approval. If, if the money becomes available and there's a way we can use it to get broadband uh, better in, in the county, that's what we'll do. In Bryan, Tyler Hoskins, News 3. The bill is accompanied by House Joint Resolution 125, which proposes a constitutional amendment that would ask Texas voters to approve the historic amount and then create the fund.